Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, there's, in my opinion, a problem in World of Warcraft when it comes to getting into the story of World of Warcraft, and I've gotten some suggestions, I've got some ideas on how to fix this, uh, how to make it more accessible to get into the lore of Warcraft. Now, my personal journey started back in Wrath of the Lich King, where I saw the Wrath Gate cinematic, and I started to wonder what the heck is going on. At this point, I played Classic and the Burning Crusades, but I never really cared about the story. That all changed with one single cutscene. Who were these people? And so, I closed the game, I opened up Wikipedia, and before I knew it, I had 50 tabs open. I was devouring all kinds of information on the game that I played for so long now. And that is about 15 years ago. 15 years of added storytelling. And the problem that existed back then, it still exists today. If you want to learn the story of Warcraft, you need to go to outside sources to get it done. It is literally impossible to get this information just within World of Warcraft, and it's time to change that. At the very least, do our best to make it as accessible as possible. The concept that I have in mind is something of a museum, but you can make it whatever it is, as long as it gets the job done. It will be available at any level, accessible through a portal at the Caverns of Time, landing you on an area similar to the Dark Moon Fair, so you don't have to worry about server lag or whatnot. It will be open 24-7. And for a story setting, a reason as why we're doing this, you could explain it that by having the bronze record flight sense that the world is heading towards a critical moment in time, they've been gathering information from the time waves to see if they can figure out what is happening. The information is so vast though, and sometimes it's even conflicting. They've recruited others to help them out. Law walkers, time walkers, heroes of Azeroth, come lend your weapons, your skills and stories to fill up this museum with the story of Warcraft. That's the setting. Now, some of my suggestions are things that could be done relatively quickly, as it's mainly putting existing resources and assets into one place. Other suggestions will require a bit more development time. Offer the ability to rewatch every cutscene in the game. The Ralph Gate cutscene is what got me interested in the story, and through the years, many more cutscenes have been added. There's a toy in the game, and there are NPCs scattered across the world that will allow you to rewatch some of these cutscenes. During the anniversary, they put up pylons, which again allow you to rewatch some of the cutscenes all in one place. I would like that in this museum as well. The museum would have wings dedicated to certain time periods, so the cutscenes, they would be divided by expansions. Not just the cutscenes either, we're also talking here about the real-time cutscenes, right, that play out during the quests. We're talking about commercials, which have some lore tidbits, audio dramas that they've done, the burns of Xiao Hao, all the videos accessible in the game in one place. No longer should I have to go to YouTube to look up the things that I played through, they should all be available in-game. Added with a bit more development, would be an NPC that brings these cutscenes together to provide a little bit of context for what you're about to watch. For example, and so the dark portal turned red, and heroes of Azeroth had to travel through time to an alternate reality. Cue the Storm the Portal cutscene, only to find the Iron Horde waiting for them. The Alliance joined the local Draenei, but holding their territory against the Iron Horde did not come without great sacrifice. Cue the Dark Star cinematic. The Horde joined the local Frostwolves, but holding their territory against the Iron Horde did not come without great sacrifice. Cue the Frostfire Ridge cutscene. So an NPC that provides a little bit of context as to what you're about to watch. Then added with more development, that would be to make videos that summarize the story of an expansion. They've actually done this with the release of Burning Crusade Classic, and they've got the brilliant talent of someone like Hurricane on board, making these sick cutscenes that just scream the vibe of, oh yeah, this was totally what it was like when I was playing the game. Imagine taking Hurricane's talent and then adding a little bit of narration. For example, There is no The Alliance and Horde brought their wounded home after a successful campaign against the undead Scourge and Northrends. Arthas the Lich King has been dethroned, but little did they know that their short moment of peace, it would be shattered apart by the Black Dragon Nelfarian. The mad aspect Deathwing burst forth and transformed the surface of the world with the Cataclysm, while the factions themselves saw great changes as well. The Dwarves leader Magni Bronzebeard was turned into a crystal, so the Council of Three Hammers now rules their people, while the Worgen of Gilneas have rejoined the Alliance. Sons and daughters of Gilneas, hold the barricade! Do not give them an inch! The Tauren leader, Karen Bloodhoof, was slain by Garrosh Hellscream in Makura, so the Tauren are now led by his son Bane Bloodhoof. While the goblins of Kazan have joined the hordes, Varian Rin has managed to tame the rage within, has become the High King of the Alliance. 
just in time to see Thrall step down as war chief to focus on his shamanistic role in healing the world, leaving behind the much more aggressive Garrosh Hellscream as war chief of the Hordes. For the Hordes! As conflicts between the factions raged on, Deathwing worked hard on liberating his masters, the old gods from their prisons, bringing about the hour of twilight and shroud the world in darkness. The combined efforts of Azeroth's heroes, Shaman Fro and the Dragon Aspects, they were able to stop the madness of Deathwing and bring about the dawn of the Age of Mortals. Neltharion, it is time to end this. Thank you. All Azeroth shall burn. That's just an example, in essence, a short summary of the story of the expansion. Touch on some of the highlights that happened so that people can understand what went down. If we're moving the cutscenes into one place, let's also move all the NPCs that allow you to queue up for scenarios and look for raid by yourself. Added with a bit more development, we'll be turning some of the removed content into scenarios. Content like Battle for the Undercity or the Darkspear Rebellion, which played a critical part in the story, they're no longer available in-game, allow people to queue up and play through it as a scenario. Added with more development would be designing completely new scenarios, like the ones that we had during Mr. Pandaria, with the goal of playing through the story of an expansion, a 15 to 20 minute experience in which adventurers they can solo queue or go in with a group of three and they could relive the highlights of the past, blast through the watery coil fang, Lady Vash and her naga to then re-emerge and join Akama in climbing to the top of the Black Temple. What's that in the distance? Does somebody hear shattering glass? Kill for Sunstrider and the true darkness in the shadows. Kill Jade and await. Push the Lord of the Legion down the toilet bowl and return hope to the Blood Elves with a reignited Sunwell. There you go. You now played through the story of the Burning Crusade and you're up to speed on what the story was back then. Gather the knowledge available in game. There are many different letters, books, and scrolls scattered throughout the world of Azeroth, and some of those still clog up my bank. While most of it is no longer relevant or even accurate, it still offers a insight, a look into the history and the adventures to be made along the way. We have a postmaster NPC which loves to sort things. Let them sort out our scraps of paper into books, into a library. Move all these individual pieces of information into one place. From this library, we could also add the option to open up books and comics in-game that are currently available online on the WoW website. Added with more development would be an in-game lore codex. They presented an update to the UI with BlizzCon, which could be used for compiling the lore that we find in-game. Imagine standing in front of Jaina Proudmoore, and there's a button that you can click on, and your book will open up with different tabs for different expansions. The default tab would be Classic and Before, but you can browse through history, through the different expansions. On the left, there will be a synopsis on the story so far. On the right, there will be a model, and that model would update itself depending on the expansion that you're checking out. Bonus points if we could get this narrated. If we get the narrator from uh, Baldur's Gate 3 in here, or maybe the voice actors of the character themselves, oh, it would be fantastic. Like, I know it would be a lot more work, but hey, shooting our shots, right? This could also be used as a way to improve the overall questing experience. A new player is expected to know a lot just based on the quest text. For example, my, my brand new mage got into Orgrimmar and they were told, We rescued Princess Talanji of the Zandalari from the stockades in Stormwind. I have no idea who or what they're talking about, and so I zoned out. What if keywords like Talanji, Zandalari, Stockades and Stormwind would actually be clickable, and upon clicking, a page in the codex would open up, giving you a description of what they are, what they're talking about, an in-game Warcraft wiki. Added with more development would be the gathering of scrolls and books turned into gameplay and rewards. Back in Mr. Pandaria, they did this with the introduction of the Lore Walkers. Across the zones, there were scrolls that told a story on their own, turn in the collection of scrolls, and Lore Walker Cho will tell you a little story. Get enough reputation, and then it was like titles and mounts and all the good stuff to be earned. Imagine making a collection out of the current books and scrolls that we have. For example, dive into the origin of Warcraft, so books and scrolls related to the Black Empire, the Ordering of Azeroth, the Titans, the Discoveries in Zareth Mortis. Get the series complete, and you get a narration on the origin of Warcraft. Gather the series of certain books for the story, and you would have an audio-visual presentation of that story. 
That's a baseline idea behind a museum, combining the gathering of Warcraft lore into one place where it's accessible for everybody. And since we are playing a video game, make it interactive. Make it an interactive experience where you can not only read the lore, but you can actually play through it. Building upon that idea, we can go further beyond. So we now have our bare bone halls where there's lore information to be gathered, right? Each wing can be dressed up in colors and art styles, reflecting the expansions and the themes that they're talking about. Drop some well-known assets, like an Onyxia's hat that could hang in the entryway. This is the character of time, after all. It, it doesn't matter if it's supposed to be somewhere else. You could just yoink it out of the timeline. A good use for those statues from the garrison as well. Add some toys, which allow people to dress up in the most horrendous transmogs at the time. Or allow them to dress up like major characters, like the Arthas toy for example. This in turn could be used to provide tools for role players. Give them some building blocks, some weapons, some ways of performing arts and plays and tell their own stories. Give them tools to play with and you just watch them fly. Speaking of stage, you added a fantastic way of catching up on the story in Ardenweald, where we played a funny role explaining to the people of Ardenweald what went down on Azeroth. Let's add a stage like that for every expansion. I'm sure that the performers from the Dark Moon Fair or those in Karazhan, I'm sure that they would love to be put to work again and share some epic tales. Give us the option to take part in these plays, jump in and join them. Also, villains of the past, like the daily quest in Arnawild, they can make an appearance and a nuisance. Let them have their little villain's corner and share their sides of things, their side of the story. Well-known NPCs could also walk in and exclaim that while it's really cute how we're playing out these stories and how it is like a lore museum, their experience was completely different. This one guy, he got really hungry for chicken, right? He threw his funds into the air and he took out all those dragons. I'm sure that for them, they had a completely different story to tell than those that just went into Blackrock Mountain compared to someone like Ragnaros, right? Different villains, different characters, different ways of telling the story. We've also seen Pandaren sing songs back during Mr. Pandaria, explaining the history of Lu Lang and the Wandering Turtle. Why not add performers, bards walking around and share tales of the past? You already have lore walkers offer quizzes to people. Remember how popular that trivia bot add-on was? Why not add an add-on like that in-game, like an NPC that does trivia rounds? You play some rounds, you put your name on the scoreboard and then daily it resets or like hourly or whatnot. Get people interactive and get them to answer some questions. Could even, you know, could be a fun social thing to do. Hearthstone could be a great way to collect in-game cards and have synopsis written on the back, right? Like baseball cards, but in-game to teach you lore and make it fun. Archaeology could be used to scour the world and find ancient history hidden in the lands. That could then in turn be used to build massive dino statues that glow in the dark. Or you could rebuild Keepers of Old. You could use the professions to work towards building up this museum. You could make it a community thing, like the opening of Ankiraj. Pool a resource together to add to the art, to add to the collection. You could add the Brawler's Guild for all I care, have like enemies or, or friends or foes that the past show up and reenact certain moments in history, have that play out, have that be interactive battles. Long story short, these are just suggestions on how to compile the story of Warcraft and make it an interactive experience to not only learn the lore but to actually play through it. And I'm sure there are more suggestions that we could think of to pile up on this. In essence, the current problem that I see is that you cannot learn the story of Warcraft in-game. And with the focus on the World Soul Saga and the next 20 years of adventure to follow, I think it's about time that we dedicate resources into making sure that the game story is actually accessible within the game. Now that part is all catching up, right? That's all about what came before. But another part that came forward during this project is the way that the story is delivered in the game. But that's something that requires a lot more game development knowledge and I imagine a lot more efforts. That part I'm gonna save for a different section, a different video. Let's keep this one focused on the museum idea to get people caught up on the story so far. Which means, for now, I hope you enjoyed. And by all means, let me know your suggestions in the comments down below. And until next time... See ya!